My name is Ben, and I'm from New Zealand, from a small town called Palmerston North. And I've been living in Asia now for about seven years. Time flies. I first got into teaching, honestly, because it was really easy to get into. And it was kind of the convenient thing to do when you're traveling around Asia. Uh, but kind of moved from this the functionary convenient thing into actually being something that I'm quite passionate about and now um, consider my career path. I am currently in Shanghai. So I've worked with Eagle in now Taipei, in Chengdu, and in Nanjing. So this is my fourth location. And Shanghai is giant. It's just it's just bigger than any other place that I've ever been in. And it's very multinational and multicultural, I guess, in comparison to the other locations. And also far worse on my wallet. <laughs> my favorite time of the year usually is the end. And that sounds terrible, it's like, oh, the end is the best part. <laughs> But it really is because that's when the kids, regardless of whether or not they were naughty or nice throughout the year, you know, the little angels that you know you thought were always great. Is teacher Ben still going to be my teacher? Or is teacher Alex or teacher Johnny, are they still going to be my teacher at the end of the year? And then they have this real sense of, you know, longing and that, that connection that they have built up throughout the year that you might not have seen because you didn't have the perspective to see it throughout the year as you're just kind of going through your lesson. But at the end, it all comes back and that's when they go, oh, you can see how much they appreciate your work. I think if I had to give any advice to prospective teachers, it would be just do it. That's a terrible Nike catchphrase, no, don't say that. Take the plunge, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. Just push yourself out of your comfort zone, you know, sail away from safe harbor and push yourselves out into the, uh, the rocky waves. It feels like you're really, you're going into something unknown, and it is unknown, you know, even though you might have watched Crashing Tiger Hidden Dragon, whatever it's called. Well, you know, I've seen some stuff about China, it's not the same as actually living here every day. I think my most memorable experience seeing some Sherpas come down from the Tibetan side of uh, Mount Everest and they got to the bottom and they were like distributing the food that they didn't actually use. It's so, like we got some like, Everest biscuits that had been to the top of Everest and then we played hacky sack with the Sherpas. That was pretty awesome seeing something which is radically different from that kind of talking rubbish with the boys watching rugby is like this couldn't be any more different you know I think the difference between our school is that I felt like I could trust it I think that was the big one I felt like they had my back we all went off and for myself as well not always a absolute 100% professional all the time but I try and the school tries as well but most importantly I felt like they were, they were trustworthy I don't have to do this anymore, I'm finished. <laughs> that was the final cut, right? One more time. Yes, yes. One more time. <laughs>